Welcome back to semi-final action right here on My Family's Got Guts. I'm Ben Lyons at the base of the legendary Agro Crag. And folks, we got a good one here today between the Green Machine and the A-Game Andersons. The Red Squad, the Andersons, are in the lead with 275 points. Only one of these teams will go on to the Agro Bowl. But before we get to the Crag, let's go to the highlights. Here we go in the air slalom as the Red Squad, led by Trey, clears one, hits one, and clears another one. They're victorious in air slalom. We took it to the track for Formula Guts. The Red Squad thought they would be victorious, an impressive run, but ultimately it was the green team picking up time in the pits. And then check out Caleb hitting two wheels, almost taking out one of our safety guys there. They are victorious by one second. Now we take it to the beach for volleyball. Both our spikers, Rick and Trey, like to score a lot of points. Austin sets one for Rick, but it was a double-handed spike from Trey to try Tony to try to keep him alive. The A-game Anderson, led by Trey, are victorious. Now we take it to the mighty, newly evolved Agro Crag. I'm coming to you from the Mad Mesas. And folks, have you ever seen a swirling vortex? You're about to right now. The crag is so big and so bad, teams are going to need all four players to reach the top. Player number one goes over the Mad Mesas in the treacherous ice march to base camp, where player number two awaits. Player number two then takes on the Ice Serpent Switchbacks and the Skeleton Stalagmites in a bid to reach Avalanche Peak, where their actuator will now reveal a secret tunnel that will spiral them down the vortex to a new side of the crag. Then, player number three will attempt to navigate the Crag Caverns. Once out, they will cross the Glacial Gorge, which encircles the mighty monster, making their way back to the base and opening the ice portal, behind which player number four awaits for their chance to conquer the vertical freeze and reach the Crystal Peak, the summit, and victory. Now back to the prelims, Asha. I thought maybe I could take on the aggro crag. I was a little intimidated by it. What? Now I'm just terrified. This thing has evolved into a crazy monster. What is going on with the crag? Well, let me just tell you, Mr. Ben Lines, that a trip up and around this new crag is certainly not a trip to the dark side of the moon. No, no, it's even more magical and mystical and lots more other things. And the players had to think really carefully about where they wanted to place That's each right. team person. That's right, semi-final strategy surely coming into play here. Our teams had to decide who's going to yes. run which leg of the crag. So who are they rolling with? Well, let's go to the matchup to find out. For the Mad Mises, it's going to be Austin versus Kaylee on the switchbacks. It'll be Cody versus Caleb. In the caverns, it's going to be Rick versus Christina. And in a race up the vertical freeze, we'll have Trey versus Tony. Well, let's hope our teams chose wisely because only one of these families will be advancing to the aggro bowl. So yeah. break down the rules for the aggro crack. Well, because these are the semifinals, the maximum head start you can get is now 10 seconds. The A-game Andersons are in the lead by 45 points, so they've earned a 4.5 second head start. Each player must successfully complete their portion of the crag before the next player on their team can proceed. And as always, the first team to the summit wins. Two of the strongest families here on My Family's Got Guts. Only one will go on to the Agro Bowl, and one will be going home. Who's it going to be? We're about to find out. Asha, send them up the crag. Red team, you've got a head start. You'll go on my whistle. Green team, you wait for the judges. On your marks, get set. Here goes Austin for the A-game Andersons, making his way up the Mesa, and now it's time for Kay. Kay is going up the Mesas. Now it's time for Cody on the switchbacks. The red team taking full advantage of that four and a half second head start, hitting all the actuators. Avalanche Peak is rumbling. Now you see Caleb on the switchbacks. Cody looking to get through. One more actuator. There she goes. Down the sword. Backside of our mountain, and now it's time for Rick to get through the cavernous cavern. There it is, the cave uh, can also suck in the players just like the vortex. Will Rick get out in time to hold off the green machine? Christina making her way around, having some problems. She thinks out is in and in is out. There goes Rick across the glacial gorge, covered in spider webs. He looked like he's out of a scary movie. There's Christina going across the glacial gorge as well, opening up the ice portal. Folks, we got a good one here on the vertical freeze. Trey slips. Tony is overtaking him. It's the A-game Andersons versus the Green Machine. Trey versus Tony. Red versus Green. Who is going to the aggro ball? We are about to find out. They are getting closer to the Crystal Peak. And it looks like the Green Squad is victorious. The Green Machine 
working like a well-oiled machine here on the aggro crack every step of the way they were able to catch up with the a-game andersons the a-games brought their b-game here today unfortunately they have to go home only one family will go on to the aggro bowl and it is the green machine let's go to the replay here you see it, the Red Squad getting off to a fast head start. That's Austin on those mad mesas. Then it was Cody on the switchbacks. The avalanche has exploded upon our competitors. The green team, though, is not phased. Caleb making his way up the, to hit all the actuators. Down the sliding vortex sucks is, is Cody. It was all downhill after that because the green team, led by Christina in the caverns, was able to make it out alive. It was a race up the top of the vertical freeze. Check out Trey hitting the mountain first, followed quickly by Tony. They were off to the races after that. Trey slipped. That's what did them in. Unfortunately, the red squad has to go home. We only have room for one. And Tony says, hey, it's going to be me and the green machine. They are going on to the aggro ball. What a race here to the top of the legendary crag. So you are today's winner. Take your slide to victory. Congratulations to the Green Machine. They are going on to the Agro Bowl. Come down here for a second. Joined by his teammates. They already have one piece of the rock. They are covered in spider webs. Tell me, did you ever think for a second there you weren't going to make it up the mountain? Absolutely not. We had. It. it was great. And then I saw him slip, and uh, they gave me a little confidence. So you saw him slip when you're on the mountain. So you're looking down, but you're going up. Absolutely. <laughs> now tell me, what do you think the hardest part is of the newly improved Agro Crag? Yeah, definitely the maze. Well, the green machine is tired. They're confident they have survived the semifinals. Asha, come bring them a second piece of the aggro Congratulations, crag. green machine. Here's your second piece of the aggro crag. Joining your first. If you win the final, you'll get the third and final piece and making your own big, huge aggro crag. Congratulations, guys. You're going to the aggro bowl. Yeah. Tell me how it feels. All right, Asha, what does this mean for the rest of our tournament? Well, let's take a look at our tournament bracket. You are going to be taking on Web Dynamite and the winner of our last semi-final matchup between the McLean Dream Team and the Wayland Leylands. One more question for you guys. Do you have it? No ifs, ands, or buts. My family's got guts. They're going to the aggro ball. We'll see you next time. Good show, you guys. Great. Now give me five alts.